In this video, we will study about the process of spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis is the production of mature male gametes which are known as sperms. About 200 to 300 million sperms are produced daily in the male gonads known as the testes. These immature sperms also undergo a process of maturation in the epididymis to form the mature sperms. For a better understanding of this topic, make sure to watch our video on the male reproductive system. As we discuss the anatomy of the testes in the male reproductive system, the testes contains numerous pipe-like structures known as seminiferous tubules. The seminiferous tubules have a central lumen and outer wall. The wall of the seminiferous tubule is the main site for the production of sperms. Now let's look at a closer view of the cross section of the wall of seminiferous tubule. As we can see, the wall of the seminiferous tubule contains numerous types of cells and one of them are the primary germ cells. The primary germ cells transform through various stages of development and finally form immature sperms known as spermatids. Now let's talk about the process of spermatogenesis in a bit detail. The process of spermatogenesis is divided into two phases. The first is the spermatocytogenesis, in which one germ cell divides into four precursor gametes known as spermatids. These spermatids are immature sperms. The second phase is the spermiogenesis in which no further cell division occurs but the immature sperms go through the process of maturation and differentiation to form mature sperms. So now let's talk about the series of cell division that occurs in the first phase of spermatogenesis. We start with the primary germ cells known as the primary spermatogonium type A which are found in the wall of the seminiferous tubules. The main job of primary spermatogonium type A is to divide into two types of cells. The first is the type B primary spermatogonium. The type B spermatogonium auto reproduce and maintain the number of the primary spermatogonium type A. The first division in the series of spermatogenesis is a mitosis which gives rise to an intermediate stage known as primary spermatocyte. The primary spermatocyte are diploid cells maintaining the number of chromosomes. In the second division, the primary spermatocyte go through the first phase of the meiosis and divide their chromosomal material into half to give rise to secondary spermatocytes which are haploid cells. In the last stage, the secondary spermatocytes again go through the process of meiosis II and maintain their chromosomal number. They give rise to four immature sperms known as spermatids. Looking at the wall of the seminiferous tubule in a bit detail, the primary spermatogonium are located in the basal layer of the wall of seminiferous tubule and in the center you can see the various divisions from primary spermatocyte till the spermatids. During all these cell divisions, the Sertoli cells give support and nutrition to the developing gametes. So now we know that one germ cell gives rise to four spermatids. But spermatids are immature sperm cells incapable of fertilization and they contain numerous cell bodies like Golgi body, centrioles and mitochondria. The spermatids undergo through the process of spermiogenesis which is second phase of spermatogenesis to form mature sperms. The process of spermiogenesis is basically divided into four phases which converts a immature sperm into a mature sperm. The first is the Golgi phase where the Golgi body present in the spermatid forms the enzymes of the acrosome. The second is the acrosomal phase where the formed acrosome condenses around the nucleus to form the cap. The third is the tail phase where the centriole present in the spermatid forms the tail of the sperm. And the last is the maturation phase where the spermatid loses the excess cytoplasm and forms the mature sperm. But the mature sperms are still non-motile. As we know, the process of spermatogenesis runs in the wall of the seminiferous tubule. The mature sperms are then released in the lumen of the seminiferous tubule through a process called spermiation. The sperms then spend a few days in the epididymis and gain motility. The motile sperms are thus capable of fertilization. So this was all about the process of spermatogenesis. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like our channel on YouTube for all the upcoming videos. And make sure to like our channel on Facebook for flashcards and upcoming notifications.